Hey guys, Josh from the Redneck Homestead Channel here, and uh, we're back in central New Hampshire. And as you can see behind me, a lot of the snow, most of the snow is gone. And we're up at the property with uh, the link belt excavator and the chipper. And towing behind my truck right now, we have the Harbor Freight Central Machinery Sawmill that we bought. Um, bought that a few months ago, and if you, if you kind of rewind back to a few videos ago, maybe five or ten videos ago, you can see my initial unboxing, assembly, and review of the Harbor Freight Sawmill. Well, we didn't really get a lot of wood cut in that initial, um, initial assembly, in that initial video, because within like a day or two, the weather um, got really bad, the temperature dropped, and uh, tons of snow came upon us. Well, spring is getting close, and uh, we decided to pull this thing out and just cut a couple of logs. So, um, stay tuned. I think it's time to start cutting, uh, sawing some logs, I guess. tuned to saw up yet. This is just sitting on an unlevel trailer. The frame is not perfectly square at the moment, which is causing carriage to ride a little like that. Wow guys, this is really, really awesome. I am so excited um, at how this is working. Um, it's pretty basic geometry, but it works like a shot. It's amazing. Um, this is a, a, a log that we cut out of a tree when uh, maybe November, December. But sitting here, snow covered. This is exactly what we plan to do. Come back here and make some beams. Now, I don't know, we may actually saw this one into some uh, boards and see what we can come up with here. So thanks for following us uh, on what we're doing here. We're looking forward to turning these things into a house or a barn or a greenhouse or something. Uh, that's a plan. 
We've got a lot of plans for this sawmill and the boards that it's going to produce. Stay tuned. Again, guys, we haven't calibrated anything. Um, we haven't squared, we haven't leveled, we haven't calibrated the carriage to the surface. Um, and you see what this thing just produced. It's, it's really impressive, very impressive. So I am going to rate this sawmill so far a 10 out of 10 for what it is. For what it is, it's a $2,000 or $2,500 sawmill that performs like a $10,000 sawmill. I do have one issue with it. Right now, I have a pretty serious issue with it. You probably can't see this on the camera. Maybe you can, I don't know. There's a dip right here. You know why there's a dip? Because the seam where the tracks meet um, on the high side, on, on my side over here, they're not married up properly. And that's because they're bolted together with these machine bolts. And that's not how we're gonna we're gonna roll here. We're gonna change things around. We're gonna unbolt the entire saw and we're gonna weld it all together. That way we can be sure that it's exactly how we want it, and that there's no bumps, and that the precision is much higher. Um, I wouldn't say that it's a problem right now, but the two-post design twists a little bit, not much. You can see when I'm operating the saw, I'm kind of standing behind it and pushing it um, with equal force on both the left and the right posts. That's helping keep uh, control over the carriage. Um, but a four post design is absolutely in the future for this thing. Um, aside from that, I, I am just ecstatic. I mean, ecstatic. I can't tell you the ideas that this is inspiring in me. Any feedback, Rob, on this? Any modifications? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the base model is good. Yeah. Do the job, but if you want a nice finished product. You gotta modify it. Really, yeah. Well, that's what we do. We modify everything. Yeah. So, all right, I'm gonna go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Cock a doodle do. You're lucky it's not Thanksgiving, buddy. So you're you're home free, buddy. Rob's going to be cutting some two buys now. Getting the water flowing. The water keeps the blade cool and kind of lubricated, I guess. Not really lubricated as much as it keeps it cool. I might add that this saw comes with a Lennox blade and it's a very high quality blade. You're going to be able to see the bump in the wood. Coming up right now. What you got there, Rob? Too much. Two by two eight. By, two by eight? <laughs> two by eight, two by ten. Sweet. That's great. I guess this marks the first, like, real piece of lumber we cut with this, huh? Turn it on. Mudroom floor. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for joining me on this uh, spring Sunday afternoon where we're using our Central Machinery Harbor Freight Sawmill to turn trees into usable lumber. We're very, very happy with this sawmill and I look forward to cutting thousands or millions of board feet with it. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. We really appreciate all that you guys do for us and uh, all the friendships and um, connections that we've made all across the world. Literally from France to Singapore, all across the United States, the West Coast, the Midwest. And uh, that means so much to us. It's really, uh, it's really given me a lot of faith in, uh, in humanity, I guess, and just the goodness of people's hearts, and, um, and I just thank you guys. So if you haven't already subscribed, 
please do subscribe give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends put it on your Facebook your Google Plus and uh, help uh, help uh, us grow this channel and turn it into kind of a community event for us all all right we'll catch you on the next video thanks a lot